Hello friends and once again welcome to bhpsolution.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you another new feature of Oracle EPM planning. This feature name is called cell level security. It's one of the most awaited feature. This is launched in March 2021 and this let you define access to the individual dimension member intersection. So let's see what does cell level security is. It's basically enable your service administrator to restrict who can view data in an application by defining rules. It's so it is very similar to the uh, valid intersection. So you can define rules that remove access, read or write access to the cell or maybe a combination of dimension member that a user would normally have access using a regular security. So you have a regular security which you apply at application level, task list, data form and dimension member level. On top of that security, a cell level security works. So it consists of two parts. If you see, it's very similar to the valid intersection. So you have anchor dimension which are always required when you define a cell level security in that queue. Uh, in addition to this, you define non-anchor dimension which is either required or not required. In order to understand this well, let's take a case. So I prepare a tiny case over here. So I have a sales data for Casa sales data from two sales director. I have one sales director name is called John. With one sales director, I add a user called John. Sales director and another sales director is called Amy. So we have got two sales director. What do I want? The John would have access to John manages sales for marketing and uh, I mean sales director manages sales for international sales, right? It means John can access data. If you look at graphically, John has access to this data. John can access this data only, whereas Amy can access international sales. She looks after international sales. Right. Therefore, I do not want John should see Amy's data. I wouldn't like to restrict this. So John cannot see Amy's data. Is it restricted? And other way around, similarly, uh, Amy cannot see marketing data. So they can see their data, but they cannot see each other data as well. So this is what I would like to restrict it. First, on addition to this, let's say John has access to marketing data, but due to some reason, Amy is finding some bottleneck in the job and therefore management decided to hand over laptop computer sales to John. It means now John has access to all the marketing, entity in addition to international sales entity. It means this access as well. I'll just use a different color. That's Amy's access. Amy can access the one which is marked as yellow color and John can access the one which is marked as green color, right? It means I need to define an intersection with an intersection of entity and product for John and similarly for Amy, okay? So what I did first, I created two users there are two that exist in my application. So under access control, you can see there are two users called John and Amy, right? So John, I make it as a power user. John is a power user. He is he belongs to a financial manager group. And same does apply to Amy. So I've given access to John and Amy to the application. And there is one data form I created for the sake of testing. You see, this is a data form where I would be applied the test. So I've given access to the data form as well. So you assign access to data form label. So this is a part of the regular security, go to form and there you can see access defined to John. So John has a right access to my data form. There's a data form and I assign access to John. You see, John has got right access, isn't it? In addition to this, John also have access to all the dimension member 
visible in this data form. He has access to security. Uh, he has access to forecast scenario, uh, forecast scenario, working version, entity, and uh, product. So one which I marked with a green color, John has access, maybe dark blue color. John has access to all this dimension member. So the access is given with it. I've defined access in the same way as we used to do in the past. With the regular security, you select dimension and select what account or entity or scenario you like to give access. In this way, I've given access to John. Right, so John has got right access. Now, now what do I want? I logged in with administrator and also log in with John. When John opens this application and data form, you see he has got access. John sales director and the same application, same data form I open over here as an administrator. Same data form, but two different people, two different view. You can look at, take a snapshot of it over here. So let's see John access, how how it looks like to the administrator. Administrator has access to entire data form. There is no restriction apply. Administrator can see entire data form. That is admin view. Now let's look at the John view. When I log in as John, there is another instance I use. John has access only to uh, marketing data. Sales director, he's a sales director first, John. He has access to marketing data. He doesn't have access to international sales except tablet computer. So this is an additional responsibility provided to John, which is actually it was with Emmy. So if you put them together, this is going to be John access. Here, take a snapshot again. Emmy access. So here I put both access together. And that's a John's view. Right? As you clearly see, John cannot access this. All the sales data, excluding computer sales, excluding this part. He's got access to all computer equipment plus computer, tablet computer. Okay. So how to define this? Let's see it. I create a simple uh, scenario over here under application cell level security. So go to application cell level security. There you can create, I already created one called John's sales director. If you want to create another one, you can click on create. Uh, name it call John sales director. I created first version of it test version Sales director test version Now this is applicable to which queue so you can even define for which you you want this uh, Sellable security to be applicable you can enable or disable it So I'm going to disable the other one enable this for the sake of testing. So you have an anchor dimension so anchor dimension I select over here entity and uh, the other dimension I use as a product. So entity intersection with product. Right. So what entity, if you look at our requirement, we want user should have, John should have access to sales director first entity structure, which is management roll up, but shouldn't have access to sales director too. So I can disallow access over here Add, click on add rule, whom you want to apply to, to the user John, right? And what kind of access you want to deny? Read access, select entity. So I select, John doesn't have access to under management roller. I would like to disallow access to sales director too and all the descendant of it. So I select descendants, right? With the intersection of product, so, 
John can see all product under under computer equipments, right? As it is mentioned, he can access all product under computer equipment, but he cannot see any product computer equipment with the intersection of sales director. Okay, so excluding he cannot access any product from international sales excluding computer tablet tablet computer so here i'm going to define disallow access to computer tablet that is my what product type computer equipment under computer equipment i select all the descendants and i add an exception over here exception to computer tablet tablet computer so i add an exception tablet computer right it means in other words john does not have any access to sales director to a parent member and all the descendant of it and any product under computer equipment except tablet computer save this and the beauty there is uh, one more beautiful feature you can test it over here itself click on test and you see two tests over here when you log in as an administrator how it looks like to you when you log in as an administrator you have right access to marketing and international sales as an administrator but when you log in as john you don't have access to international sales so you see none over here none excluding tablet computer so you can test it right away over here right this is how it look like so now let's finally test it what i'm going to do it i disable the other one and the one test version we created we enable the cell level security so go to uh, from administrator go to cell level security and enable this one and the one previously I created, I would disable it. I disable this okay. and save it. Right now, this security would be applicable, isn't it? So I log in as an administrator. In another instance, I log in as a John. I would open an application data form and test it. Data form and test it. John sales director, the data form, I test it. Right, do you see that? Now you can take a snapshot of this and look at the definition along with the both together. So you get a 360 degree view. So this is your output. As you clearly see, you have, you do not have access to international sales and all product excluding one product which you put over here as an exception the computer tablet right that is john's view and look at the definition as well cell level security definition so this is the definition so put definition and output together this will give you one 360 degree view this is my definition okay and this is the output as you see it is deny access deny read access to the descendant of sales international okay the sales director to the entire one is not visible and computer equipment except tablet computer so this is how you can apply cell level security so that's it for today thanks for watching this video should you have any question please feel free to write to bsp solutions.com and visit our site bsp solutions.com thank you